Okay, once again, I'm in Houston. Uh, this is the Bayou, which is uh, what they call a little creek here in Houston. It runs through the backyard of these people's house. We have one behind our house. It's not as uh, rustic as this, I guess I'd say. And uh, But, you know, as they say in Cajun, if it's okay by me, it's okay by you. Sorry, that was an old commercial. I thought it was funny when I heard it the first time. Uh, but this is kind of a request video. This is... Uh, uh, one of my clients, co-creators, uh, was talking about her life, and one of the things that brings absolute joy into her life is being around her relatively newborn niece. And she has done things to be near her niece. It's the first grandbaby, and she's kind of moved heaven and earth, moved out of this pristine place where she lived to move into a place that's less comfortable for her, and what she is looking for is the experience, this absolute joy that you can get around kids, and it, and it happens for her. You know, she goes to present time consciousness, she goes to absolute joy, and everything else that she's doing in her life makes this worth it. And so that's what you have to look at, is what is it so that you can experience these things? What do you have to do to be there? Now, she was talking with somebody else who's done a course with me, and this person said, well, that's compromise. That's almost the definition of compromise. And it is and it isn't. Between the two worlds, between the pristine operating system and the antiquated operating system, between the spirit and the mind, there are places that you have to move through. And one of the places is paradox, where nothing makes sense, where you look at two things, it can't be happening, but it absolutely does. So Claire is getting what she wants. It's getting absolutely what she wants and is worth what would look like to somebody from the outside a compromise. But here's a tip to language, okay? If somebody is accusing you of something, you have to pres presume that possibly it's them that they're talking about. And if somebody comes up to you and said, look, this you're living a life of compromise and you've arranged it strategically so you're getting a lot of what you want and there are areas that aren't working, but you're doing the harder side of the equation. You're having pleasure in those times when you don't seem to be able to, right? Because of these moments of pleasure that you know that you can go to, then what you have to presume is that the person who is giving you the feedback, which is a very loosely given term right here, right now, is perhaps compromising somewhere in their life. They may not be in a place where you can hear it, but if you take it personally, if you get stuck in it, if you think, oh my God, I'm compromising, then perhaps you are. But if you look at your priorities with a perspective, there's a good chance you'll go, oh, wow, this isn't compromise. This is what I'm doing. This is what I want to do. And perhaps the person giving the quote, quote, feedback is the one who is living compromise, is doing is living in some sort of compromise in their life. So have a fun day. If you want my perspectives on things, which I can't imagine anybody wanting, uh, you know, Facebook it. You know, Facebook me or whatever they do, YouTube it, or whatever it is, uh, wherever you see these, uh, give me a comment. Have fun. Love you. www.micpeakperformance.com